Hey, what's good YouTube? Nate with Mass Collector. Back with another PSA submission video. Um, I got my second regular submission back. This one here was sent out on uh, February 14th or so. It arrived in PSAs. It arrived to PSA on February 18th and they entered it in their system on March 15th and it was shipped on the 5th of May. So today is May 8th. And uh, I've got 10 cards in here and I'll link the uh, preview, previous video of my of when I shipped them out as well on what I thought I got for grades and everything. So, but I think the only one that I think that would actually get a 10 on here is probably the Christian Wood um, rookie and possibly a Dennis Robin, but if the Dennis Robin doesn't get a 10, it's probably going to get a 9. So. I haven't looked at these yet. Uh-oh. So we got, we got one card back that wasn't slabbed. What? Never mind. So this is a little promotion. Ooh, that was a close one. I thought maybe they sent me something back that didn't have a. So it's just a promotion for their card savers. Ooh, because I know I got charged for all of them. So. Okay. Ten cards. First one up, Dennis Rodman rookie card. And this one here looked really good. The only thing that I really saw that was wrong with it was that yellow, yellow print bubble in there. But let's see what we get. What? An eight? Are you gotta be kidding me? I have no idea. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Uh, Scotty Pippen rookie card. I thought this one looked pretty good too, but I mean, if that got an eight, this one got an eight. This one got a nine, so that's good. Take a nine. I cannot believe this got an eight. I don't, I mean, if it was for that yellow bubble, cause that's really the only thing that's wrong with it. it Doesn't make any sense. Nine on a Pippin, take that. Order of fashion here. All right, next one up is Jordan's 1988 Fleer. Um, We'll see, this one's probably got an eight too. Wow, another nine. I like that. Two nines and an eight so far. All right, that's cool. That's 600 bucks at least, because that's what I sold the other one for. Uh, here's Jordan's 1988 All-Star. Um, I did have some little edging issues up there and I think there was a part um, on this top here. You can see that little white spot right there. So let's see what we get on this one. I'm thinking it was a eight. Yep, so we got an eight. All right, get this light. There we go. All right, next card is 1988 Jordan All-Star Sticker, 1988. Um, again, the back looks pretty pretty darn good. It's got a couple white spots on the corners. I know there wasn't any wax on this thing. 
Um, it's definitely off-centered on the front, but really not all that bad. Um, let's see. I think I said I was going to get like a 7 or an 8 on this. Near mint 7. So, I've got a 7. Okay, next, this is the 1987 Jordan sticker. Um, again, I thought this was a pretty good, pretty, pretty decent looking card. Um, it definitely is off-centered. It's kind of got a weird angle, slight angle to the cut on it, but the last one I sent in got an, got an eight, so I'm thinking this one might get pretty close. If anything, it'll get a seven. So near mint eight, good deal. That's what we're shooting for on that. is Tim Duncan's rookie card. This is a Skybox XL, I think. Or Z-Force. So Skybox Z-Force, 1997. Tim Duncan, rookie card. I don't think it's a 10, but it's probably a 9 or an 8. So mint 9, sweet. So this was a pick purchase off of eBay for just a few you know, 10 bucks or something, I think. Um, this one here is got Jordan on the back and it's got Kobe on the front and it's from Upper Deck. It's um, 1999 Upper Deck Century Legends, Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, Generations card. Yeah, it's got kind of a shine to it, so I'm trying to get a good picture for you guys, but it's really hard to see. So, an Airman 8. An 8. 8s and 9s, 1, 7. All right. Christian Wood, the Rookies, Don Russ card, 2015. And I thought this was a pretty nice looking card. Mint 9. So we'll take that. And then this one should have a 10 on it. I can't, I don't, there was nothing wrong with this card at all. 2015 Panini Donruss Christian Wood rookie card. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, damn straight. All right, that's cool. It's Christian Wood's my guy. And I actually pulled this card out of a blaster box that I bought um, last year when I was searching for him, actually, because I've been following him since he was with the Bucks. So that's cool. One Gem Mint 10 out of all of these, but it's the, the one that I knew was going to get one, or at least thought for sure was going to get one. Um, otherwise, you know, a, an 8 on this Rodman was really disappointing just because I really, besides that yellow circle, there's nothing wrong with this thing. I mean, it's practically perfectly centered on both sides. <laughs> there's no staining, there's no nothing, no edge issues, the corners look good. I, I just don't get it. This one might be getting cracked and resubmitted at some point. Um, pretty happy with the nine on the Pippin, just because I knew it was slightly off-centered. 
and uh, I'll put comps up for all these as well. But this one here, it might have been due to the back centering being so off, but I'm not sure. That's why I'm in, I like subgrades. Um, uh, Jordan got a nine again. That's cool. So this is a six hundred, seven hundred dollar card. Um, I just sold the other one the other day, so I know that's a legit selling price. Um, this one's an eight, which I'm really happy with. Um, I wish it would have got a nine because I think it looks really, really good. But again, I knew there was some edge edging issues on it. So that is what it is. Um, pretty happy with the seven on the sticker. I mean, I know stickers are really hard to grade. So especially this, this year's one, but it looks good. And the 87 sticker getting an eight. I'm happy with that. The Duncan rookie got a nine. That'll be going up for sale. Uh, this Kobe with Jordan on it. I'm not sure why I got an eight. I thought it looked pretty, pretty nice. So. And then my Christian Woods, I got a nine on the, the rookies. And a gem mint 10 on my rated rookie, Christian Wood, which is the one that I really thought was gonna get it. So that was cool. It's a nice card. So this is, this is a PC card for sure, at least until until next year when he makes the all-star game and then it might go up for sale. But I think right now you can buy this card for about 500 bucks at the Gem Mint 10, um, probably 250, 300 for a nine. So, um, but I know that these were up to about 1500, $2,000 um, at the beginning of the season when he was, when he was doing really, really well until he got hurt. So, but um, ever since he's been back, it's been consistently, um, you know, 20, 24 points, 10 rebounds a game. So he's a stud, people. I'm telling you right now, don't sleep on him. If you can get some rookie cards, definitely do it. So thanks guys for watching this video. Really appreciate it. Um, again, if you haven't yet, please subscribe um, to my channel. I got more submissions coming back and um, got more going out too at some point, but um, I got a lot of cards at PSA. I still have 450 or so cards there. Um, I have three more, four more regular submissions that are still kind of being hung up in their receiving process, but hopefully get those back within a couple months. And then I got a lot of modern value shit there. So, um, thanks a lot. Make sure you like the video. Give me a comment. Let me know what you guys think and, um, hit the like button, hit that bell for notifications on new videos when I put them out and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Later.